Bora Lagoon, Eric has one passion in life. He's obsessed with the idea of feeding underwater marine creatures. The bigger the fish, the greater his fascination. Eric has always felt abandoned. He's never known his father. And his mother, busy with children from many different fathers, has no time for him. Eric transfers his frustrated affection to underwater creatures. My dad doesn't even know I exist because he doesn't know that um, my mom was pregnant with me. Sometimes, Eric breaks out of his solitude to earn some pocket money on his uncle's pearl farm. This is a chance to spend more time in his element, watching for predators, the leopard rays which kill the mother of pearl with their small teeth. Renegade rays are tamed and join in a water ballet with the boy. Sometimes Eric is overcome by despair to the point where he contemplates suicide. When I feel I want to die, I'll go diving with the sharks. I'll surround myself with dead fish, and the sharks will eat me, and it'll be all over. I'll be dead, as if I never existed. Why do you want to drown? To escape from my worst enemies. Who are your worst enemies? Everyone, all of them. Eric belongs to a family of lords of the sea who capture sharks. First, Eric lures the sharks with bits of fish. The sharks are getting agitated. It's time for Eric to throw the lasso. Even with its jaws gagged, the black tip is dangerous. Its skin is like sandpaper, and it can cause wounds. 
Eric is careful not to immobilize the shark for too long, so it doesn't suffocate. If a shark stops moving, it will die, because it needs water to pass through the gills in order to breathe. <laughs> the fishermen tie up the black tip alongside the boat and carry it away. It's Eric's job to move the black tips across the lagoon to his uncle's shark pool. Since the dawn of time, the Tahitians have built pools to make their children familiar with the sharks and learn not to fear them. For Eric and his friend, the game is to ride the shark as long as possible. games, the children learn apnea, identifying so much with the shark that they forget their fears. As soon as the shark gets tired, the game is over. The nurse shark returns to his shelter for another nap. Because of this achievement, Eric has won prestige in the eyes of his friends, which makes up for his failures at school. <laughs> Eric's teacher read the report with astonishment. It was so vivid that Eric got the highest mark. The event Eric describes almost cost his life. It happened at the Dolphins Pass at Tiputa on Rangiroa Atoll. At certain times, the current changes direction. It can drag the divers into the ocean and its dangers. The dolphins take Eric along with them into the dangerous pass. Suddenly, Eric is caught by the current. 
He tries to hang on to the reefs. The dolphins move away into the open sea, making way for the sharks. They're three and a half meters silver tips, man eaters. Eric can't fight the current. By the time he realizes he's swimming in the ocean, it's too late. It's the first time Eric has seen silver tips. He knows when to fear them, and he's calm, even playful. Why not use this chance to admire them? These lords of the sea are so majestic, you could be tempted to stroke their steel fuselage were it not for the little warning voice inside. The silver tips are all the more beautiful because they're dangerous. They're coming from everywhere. They're stalking Eric, waiting for a trace of blood or a sign of panic. But at this time, nothing indicates that Eric is edible. He could even be a menace to them. They wait for a signal to attack. comes the signal to attack. It's the speedboat. Eric's friend has seen the bubbles and comes to his help. The sharks get agitated and slip between Eric and the boat. Eric doesn't dare head for the surface. He feels trapped. Soon, all his oxygen will be used up. What to do? The gray shark tags behind the silver tip. It feels too small to attack directly. But it arouses the big sharks to make them attack first, counting on the leftovers from the feast. The dance of death begins. A silky shark coming up from the depths has noticed the signs of excitement. It's four meters long. It's a killer, which never hesitates. moment when Eric climbs up onto the boat. <laughs> At the end of his school report, Eric concluded that he would never capture sharks again. He feels the sharks have taught him a lesson by imprisoning him first in a cave and then in the ocean. Now he'll respect them in their natural environment. That star is Idia. That's where my father lives. He's watching me from there. So I've written a song for him, telling him that I dream of him every night.